So this is going to be our lab section for AZ900. Okay. So this will be your official GitHub page from Microsoft Azure AZ900, where you have around 23 lab sections. This has been recently updated and uh, you could see some recent changes across two months, three months ago, right? So let us see what are all the different labs for it. Starting from first one, which is going to be creating of virtual machines and then creating of Azure container instances, virtual network, blob storage, SQL database, and we have a lot of other labs to do it. So let us start one by one. So the first lab that we're going to see now is creation of a virtual machine. How do you do that? So when you click on the link, here you will see list of all the steps that we need to do to create a virtual machine right so let us follow step by step now it is saying sign into an azure portal so the uh, main prerequisite for this labs is like you should have your azure portal ready right azure actually gives you 200 dollar free credit when you first sign up if you already have an azure account well and good if not please sign up for a free azure account where you need to log into portal.azure.com and then you can either use your Outlook ID or you can use your Gmail or whatever ID you have, right? Once after you log into your Azure portal, you need to go to All Services Blade and then search for Virtual Missions, right? So I'm just going to All Services over here. So this is my All Services. I'm just going here and then it is saying search for a Virtual Mission. So when I search here, I'm seeing this Virtual Mission. When I click on it, right, so it is actually giving us an add symbol so I'm just clicking on add a virtual machine right so the next one is like they are asking you to give these particular details right I have my own subscription so the resource group name I'm just copying it over here and then I'm giving my resource group like create new and I'm giving my resource group then it is asking for a virtual machine name I'm just copying and giving this as a virtual machine name right the next one Location is East US and image they are saying like 2019 data center, right? So it is East US and the image they asked us to choose is 2019 data center, right? So the size, let it be this default size and then username and password, right? They are asking you to give a username and password. So I'm just giving this same username over here and then the password is this one. I'm just copying this password and then I'm just giving it over here right then it is saying allowed port is http and rdp port so here i'm just allowing http and rdp port right and then what it says on the management section on the monitoring side turn boot diagnostics as off so next i'm going to disk i'm not going to change anything over here let it be default i'm going to the networking section i'm not going to change anything let it be default and then i'm going to a management section and here they are saying make boot diagnostic as off right and then it says leave all the remaining as default and then click on review and create so i'm just clicking on review and create it does a validation for me and once if the validation is successful it will show me a green color highlighting over here see it is actually running a final validation and once after the final validation is completed it will show me a green color if every conditions are actually met right it is green color now so now i'm just going to click on create it so once after I click and create it, it will automatically start creating a virtual mission form. You can see that over here, initializing a deployment and it is submitting a deployment. So now my virtual mission is actually in the process of creation now. This is a creation window, right? Now what it says once the validation is passed, just click on create. So it will take at least five to seven minutes for me to create a virtual mission and you can see the progress over here, right? What are all the options that is shown? Then what happens? Once after it is done, we need to connect to the virtual machine. How are we connecting to a virtual machine? You just need to go to the virtual machine that you have created and then you will click on this connect button. And once after you click on the connect button, you have to choose an RDP option. And you have to download the RDP file to log into the windows. And then when you double click on that RDP, it will actually show you a page like this where you need to click on connect. And then you need to give the username and password which we have given while creation of an Azure sorry while creation of a virtual machine then once after we create it it will ask you for a confirmation and then we need to log into the vm and then what happens we need to go inside a vm and then we need to create a web server role test so we have to open a powershell by default windows server will have a powershell so we just need to open a powershell inside it 
and then we just need to install by using this command and then once after particular installation is done you will get a window like this and then what happens once after we go inside we just need to copy the public IP address of the virtual machine that we are going inside and then once after we go inside this when you give a public IP you should be able to see this IIS server coming so this will be our lab successful by creating a virtual machine and then logging into the virtual machine and then installing IIS servers and then getting an output of the basic IIS windows page right so now we have completed the task one of creating a virtual machine let us see what it is okay if you see these are all the list of steps that is completed and the final vm is now being created if you see this blue color symbol over here which is it is still running right you can also see the notifications over here like deployment is in, still in progress so once after it is completed it will also show in green color and then we need to go to our task number two which is connecting of a virtual machine so let us see now it is deployment is succeeded now it says go to the resource click on go to the resource you will go to my virtual machine now i just need to click on connect and it shows me an rdp okay so this is my rdp window file so now i need to click on download an rdp file and it says open or save file and then i am trying to open it when i try to open it automatically it will ask me for a username and password so what is the username and password that i gave this is my username okay and what is the password that i give this is my password okay so i'm just giving this password and i'm clicking on continue and now once after i give that what happens my virtual machine will start okay okay so if you see i am just logging into my virtual machine now good so now i am into my virtual machine so let me just try to close these server pages and everything now the next step that i need to do is like open a powershell so i'm just clicking on start and then i am searching for a powershell over here p o w e r okay i'm just opening powershell in a administrator mode okay so now i need to copy the command that i need to run it so let me go to the screen over here i have connected it so task 2 is done now task 2 3 is install a web server and role so i have opened my portion now i need to run this command right i am just copying this and then i am again making the screen big and i am trying to paste it not copy it properly let me try to copy it one more time copy and paste it right so now what happens the particular installation is going on if you see the installation progress is actually going on now so let the installation gets completed and then we will see what is an output that we are going to get it okay 92 percent is done Let us wait. In the meantime, we will see what is the next step. Okay, so once after it is completed, we will get a success tab like this. Then we have to go to the back to the portal, navigate to the overview board, and then copy the public IP. So my public IP over here in the overview is this one. So I'm just copying this public IP and keeping it ready. So now see it is shown as success. Now what I'm going to do, I'm trying to open a browser. So I'm opening an Internet Explorer and then i am trying to paste the ip address boom see i am getting the same output so this is how your first task has to be done so i am just creating a virtual machine a virtual machine is created and then i just try to log into a virtual machine using an rdp done and then i am trying to install an iis server then that is also done and i am copying the public ip of the machine and then putting it inside a virtual machine and I'm able to get this page right so this is how your lab one has to be done so try this and then let me know if you guys face any issues so it will be very easy if you follow this particular github page because I'm just following each and everything from this page right try this and then let me know thank you